you know, there's not really a lot of science yet to justify what you're doing. And teaching kids about gender when they're in elementary school, like these are kids. Let them just be kids. Who cares what gender they are? Just let them be freaking kids. I'm all for you transitioning or doing whatever you want to do when you're 18, when you can make that decision. But up until then, let them just be kids. What, is, what does it matter? I, I feel the same way because like I remember like when I lived at home, my mom would watch, you know, uh, Dr. Phil Oprah, stuff like that. I remember there was, um, he w- he was a very young boy, either nine, 10, somewhere in there, um, that he was saying that he was gay. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you have no idea. Like, he, you know, okay. To be, he might have had an idea, but like, you have no idea who you are. You are a child. I Think was, about all the dumb shit you did when you were a kid. Exactly. It's just like you have, you know, he could have changed, you know, he could. You know, I maybe thought that and now he thinks a different way. I have no idea. I haven't, I don't even remember the kid's name. I, yeah. just remember, I just remember the story happening on that show and I was just like, he's, and at this, at this point I was, you know, I don't know how old I was, but I was definitely a teenager. I wasn't 18 yet. Mm. And I was just like, you are a child. I was like, you have, and his mom was encouraging it. I remember that. I was just like, you have no right to do that to your child. I was like, let him just worry about recess let him worry about when yeah. he's going to see his friends next time let him worry about sleepovers don't let him worry about what he like you know if he you know likes men or women like it, it, that shouldn't matter at this point in his life it should have nothing nothing to do with his life should yeah. not affect him whatsoever at that point in his life i was like when he gets you know a little bit older sure yeah but you know at that point you should just be considered about having you should just be worried about having a kid mm-hmm. or, or sorry being a kid yeah, being a kid. You shouldn't be worried about, you know, real life stuff. You need to enjoy your childhood. You need to, you know. Be a kid. Yeah, exactly. You're be never, a kid, see, as a kid, you, as a kid, you can't wait to be an adult. But like as an adult, you're just like, wow, I really wish I would have done more stuff as a kid. Yeah. I really wish I would have been, you know, not so worried about growing up. Because like, it really don't, it doesn't, you know, as a kid, it doesn't come fast enough. And as yeah. an adult, it doesn't slow down. You don't realize that is the problem. But, um. It's just like, you know, they, you know, people push that so young. Because I remember the first time we ever did anything sex ed related was in fifth grade. And we learned it like, you know, it was in the two fifth grade classes at my school. Mm-hmm. There was a male teacher and a female teacher. And all the girls went to the female teacher's class. Well, whether you were in that class or not, you went over there and the boys went over to, and I had, I had the male teacher. All the boys came to my class. And... You know, we were separated. We learned about our anatomy. We didn't learn about, you know, their anatomy, you know, a women's uh, anatomy. And, you know, at fifth grade, I, I kind of, you know, learning about yourself. It wasn't about like, you know, I don't remember if it was like, you know, making babies or anything like that. I just remember you learning what your stuff is and them learning what their stuff is. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I don't think it lasted all that long, but maybe a couple, you know, maybe two weeks, three weeks. But I thought that was Looking back on it now, I kind of think that's appropriate, you know, because I feel like, you know, you should, you're, you're growing up, so you should learn to know, you know, you should know what you are. But as to far as, you know, that young, I still think it's too young to talk about whether you're gay, bisexual, you know, stuff like that. It's just, well, there's a, there's a radical distinction is the problem. And nobody wants to accept nuance in the conversation. There. There is a problem in that what's really weird is you can you can have your kid not participate in sex ed, which sex ed is very critical. Sex ed prevents a lot of things that will happen in your life I that are hard lessons. I think it's very important for you to learn sex ed. Yes, but you can't back you can't back out of at least in California and New York and these very liberal states, you can't back out of these gender identity instructional courses. It's something, it's not optional. You have to go through it. But the pro- the problem is not with that. The problem is not teaching kids like, oh, how do you feel? Like, are you a boy? Are you a girl? That's not necessarily the problem. The problem is the sentiment behind it. They're teaching these kids that, oh, if you feel awkward, if you don't fit in, well, maybe you're transgender. Or, which nobody's talking about, or maybe you're just a freaking kid. Like, maybe you just, you're not fitting in because you don't know who you are. Like, Child development is so nuanced. Like there were times where I felt like I didn't fit in and I'm sure you feel the same. And I'm sure Mm -hmm. most people feel the same. Like 
that's just part of growing up and being a kid. But what they're teaching these kids is, oh, if you don't fit in or, oh, if you're stressed out or, it's oh, it's probably you because anxiety. you're this way. Yeah. It's probably because you were trapped in the wrong body, which I, listen, I, none of this has come. I, I really want to preface this and get this point across. And I know it's not going to do much difference because people are going to take and run with what they want to run with. But I, I really love everybody. I really care and want the best for everyone. I don't care what you identify as, what, who you are, what you, what your beliefs are. I really, I, I want the best for you. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I want us all to move towards a better future, whatever that better future is. I want us all to rise to our fullest potential and just be good people at the end of the day. But we have real, real tangible problems with this and with gender, especially is like, there's gotta be some nuance, man. These, they're, they're kids. Being a kid is a hard time. You have awkward experiences, especially for girls, which I'm not the person to speak on because I obviously am a boy. Like mm -hmm. I've only ever been a boy. I don't know what it's like to be a girl, but from what I've read and what I've heard, it's a, it's a hard time growing up as a girl because you have you different know, you things going on. Yeah. And you see Instagram and all these beautiful women that don't actually look like that. And it's hard for you. And I understand that. And so I'm not the person to speak on that necessarily. I would love to bring somebody on to speak on it. but. We're, we're pushing these kids towards this idea that every problem they have can be solved by, you know, looking, maybe you're really a girl. Yeah, I know you were born in this body, but maybe you're a girl. And instead of letting kids naturally come to whatever conclusions they might when they can make those decisions, we're forcing it on them. And most people don't realize it's going on. Most most people don't realize their kids are being taught this in schools or this is being forced on them.